There's a new royal family biography in bookstores now, and this one has some explosive revelations. Brothers and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan. It's the latest work from world-renowned and respected author and journalist Christopher Anderson. He joins us today to give us an inside look. Good morning, Christopher. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. My pleasure. For anyone who follows the royal family, this is a must read. There is so much new information in the book, and you get right to it from page one. Well, my gosh, look at all that's happened in the past, past couple of years. I never would have predicted all the events, you know, the, especially this, this war between uh, the, the Sussexes and the Cambridges. Yeah, I know. It's like but, a know, Looking back on that, uh, when I wrote uh, Diana's Voice 20 years ago, you know, I thought they had the strongest brotherly bond you could possibly have, having been through all they had with Diana's death and walking behind her coffin, going through the streets of London during her funeral and, and coping with all the you know, pressures of, of royal life. But uh, what I hadn't seen, and now that I, when I look back, I can recognize, is that there were the, the seeds were already planted there for a rift because Harry was always pushed into the shadows. I have many, many instances in the book where he just, you know, it was always about William. And I think that really took its toll, ultimately, um, especially after all the scandals that Harry had. Uh, you know, when he smoked pot, he was pilloried in the press. When he wore a, a Nazi uniform to a costume party, he was crucified, as he should have been. He was denounced on the floor of Parliament. But his brother went to the same costume party, even helped him pick out that Nazi uniform. Uh, it wasn't a problem for him at the time, but he didn't catch any flack for it. Uh, it's, it's what a lot of uh, people call the air and, and the spare. Um, I, I want to get back to what is page one here. A lot of people are talking about this, and there's a lot in this book. But Christmas Day 2019, the Queen gives her televised Christmas message. And viewers are focused on those framed pictures on her desk. Tell us about that. You know, it's called officially the Queen's Most Gracious Speech. I love the way the British do things. But it's her Christmas address, and everybody in, in England watches it. Uh, the Queen films the address at Windsor Castle. And in 2018, for example, she had the photographs next to her while she gave her address on a little table. And, and Harry and Meghan and, and Archie were right there, center with the rest of the family. Uh, but in 2019, after they'd made it clear that they wanted out, and Megxit was starting to roll, uh, the Queen put a, uh, you know, it, it, it walked up to the set, and the director asked her what, what she wanted to do with these, the picture of the, the uh, Sussexes, and she says, well, I guess we won't be needing that one. So they were taken out, off, taken off the desk, and in a sense, being cut out of the family album, as it were. Uh, and I think that was very hurtful to, to Harry when he saw it. As one friend said, he felt he was being erased from the family. And I think that's been part of the problem. Mm -hmm. um, it, when you read this book, it's like stepping into their lives almost, or, or, or being a, 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 you know, a fly on the wall part of the conversation. I can remember uh, one passage you say Prince Charles was so enraged, he was so angry about uh, you know, what's happening with Harry that he almost uh, rips out the, uh, the sink in, in the bathroom. How is it that you're able to get this information? Sounds like you have a lot of well-placed sources. I do, and I protected them, and that's and that's the reason. And, I, and generation after generation, by the way, some of them have passed away, frankly. But I, and even now, I won't say who they are. But but uh, yeah, the, the sources are, are solid. And it's funny you mentioned the sink thing because twice he has done that. He has gotten so enraged uh, over other things in the past that he has torn the uh, the sink. And I may say some more about British plumbing than anything else. But he was you know, <laughs> he was able to do it. But he literally tore the sink up off the floor. Yeah, um, yeah but, but look, he's furious. He's, he's really upset about the situation both he and the Queen have been put in now. Um, you know, look, the monarchy's at a crossroads. The, the Queen is 95. She's going to celebrate a platinum ju jubilee next year. That's her 70th year on the throne. Uh, she's, her husband has died. Uh, Charles is, you know, just on the horizon as the next king. That'll be weird. Uh, and um, and, you know, a uh, heck of a lot's going on. And this is something that she didn't really need to have thrown at her, uh, the, the, the Harry kind of bailing. And, and if Diana were alive today, I think she would just be heartbroken because she always said, you know, uh, William and Harry, I, I don't, uh, I, they're going to be very well prepared. I don't want them suffering the way I did. Well, they are, if not, you know, if not more emotionally. Um, and it's very sad.
Yeah, there's a lot in the book. It is uh, Brothers and Wives Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Megan, written by our guest, Christopher Anderson. Thank you so much for spending some time. Best of luck with the, with the book. We can find it in bookstores now. Thank you, and thanks for having me. I enjoyed it.